Hi Scorpio, welcome. I hope you're doing very well. Welcome back. If you are new, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you guys for the love. Thank you guys for the support, the likes, the subscribes, the comments, but thank you mostly to all of you that took a second to pray for me recently. My results came back and I do not have any C word in the area we're looking at. Thank God. Um, and thank you all for the power of prayer, literally. Um, someone, someone may be very prideful. You could be trying to work together with someone, but their pride, uh, could be a little bit of a problem. Hold on. Okay, sorry. Okay, some of these pride, you need to be cautious of it because you're getting wish fulfillment, but if someone's pride becomes pain for you, that could be a problem. So just, you know, let that be known or keep that, keep that, stay aware of that. Your first scripture message is James 4.10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. On the back it says, Lord, help me to be honest and humble enough to acknowledge my need of moral and spiritual help from others as well as your divine help. So there's a lot here about networking on a spiritual level. You have uh, Gemini, Virgo. Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries, 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 Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, 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 a lot of just tons of Aries, Pisces energy. The Lady of the Dead, Caution, Nobility, Emotional Cleansing, Eclipse, The Bear, Danger and money matters with wind chimes. So <clears throat> there's also like a tug of war here where like when you need to pick yourself up emotionally or, or in health, you get yourself to a place of harmony, but money declines. If you get your money going up, health declines. So there's needing to find balance in that, which you may be coming into a time of that with the witch, which is a weaver of multiple worlds. Um, however, someone maybe that you know about or you don't know about, this could be in front of your face, behind your back, or both, someone's extremely manipulative and someone is hoping and wishing that they can distort or manipulate an outcome for you. Um, while you're trying to stay hopeful, optimistic, you're getting wishes, you know, granted, it is your birth time. It's your birth right. Um, someone is pissed. And this person could be over you the way that the witch is over her. This could be a person in a position of authority and they're abusing that authority or they're abusing their access to you in some kind of way. It could be a feminine. It could be a masculine. It could be either, but somebody is doing that. Now, you may go into like some kind of hermit mode you have the bouquet, compliments from an admirer, and then the pin, a new job or career. Somebody could want to work with you. You could be getting complimented a lot while you're at work. You could have a lot of people reaching out to you at work. Anyway, all this Pisces, Aries energy, you have the ancestors, anger, ecstasy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Earth Energy, Attraction, Ladder, Success, the Kangaroo, Unsettled Times, Needing to Plan Ahead. So a couple things. Your ancestors could be pissed on your behalf. And they're trying to make sure that you get to the top of this ladder safely. 
someone in your energy could have to do with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but the way that they seek out ecstasy has pissed your ancestors off, and possibly their own. I don't really like to speak on ancestors, especially other people's ancestors, because I don't know. But... Someone has also been very toxic to you. I mean, extremely toxic to you. Kicked you while you were down, is what I'm hearing. And it has... There's an angry energy around you. Like, there, this person's anger is nothing compared to... The spiritual anger that's around you right now, you may not even be aware of it really because you're off in ecstasy land, but are you trying to be? <sighs> this person may have some kind of like attachment or ancestral, like something goes in their lineage that they're like acting out toward you and you have noble hopeful and ecstasy bliss so that alone can anger someone that has generational or spiritual attachments i was telling you guys the other day there's like at least three to five ways that you can tell when someone has like corrupted spirits attached to them and this person may be dealing with that. And this person may be realizing that about themselves. That, like, you're seeing karma unfold coming in. So my advice would be to stay as positive as you can. If you're going to wish and hope for anything, especially when it comes to all these people around you, you need to be wishing and hoping for fairness and equality in every aspect. Because if you, you know, hope and wish and hope and wish and you're not taking into consideration... The fact that we're in karma season right now. You could get your wish granted. You're getting wishes granted. But that's why they say be careful what you wish for. Because there always has to be some kind of evening out. This is like wishing for a million dollars and wishing for a million dollars. And then your wish comes true and you're blessed with a million dollars. But then a health crisis pops up and you end up owing 500000 You know what I mean? Like some, something like that. Like So I would just wish and hope for fairness in all parties involved then we have aries energy a lot of aries energy we have the lamp remembrance you can probably feel yeah you can for my scorpios you can definitely feel um your ancestors around you angel divine god universal um miracle miraculous energy around you at this time um it's it's definitely there for a reason then you have returned to cinder immortal the consuming family pressure of peers you have crystalline more healing communication somebody may be reaching out to you trying to heal a situation you need to be careful about how you move through this. I would definitely set aside the my way or the highway attitude. If you have any, because pride is here. And just like I was just warning you about another person's pride, we are but mirrors. You need to be careful about your own. Then we have the nest. Um, an, uh, an emotionally secure family is important to you. The wishbone, a wish being granted. We have the box, marriage, and man. Um... Pride may be an issue, but it looks like you're coming into some kind of union. If you are a man, you could be coming into some kind of union. There's a lot of feminine energy here, and you need. it looks like you're acknowledging it as a gift and treating it as such. If this isn't your energy, but there's definitely a Scorpio male I'm talking to here, you're getting some kind of union. This could be in business. This could be in love this could be in church this could be in family but there's some kind of union a coming together and it 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 is spiritual it's a gift if you're not acknowledging this someone else is then we have inspired here 
Serpent Secrets and Cycle. We also have the Staff and the Boot, increasing your efforts and being taken care of in difficult times. The Needle and Thread and the Claw. I remember the Needle and Thread being one of your titles this year. A Sincere Wish being granted. Yeah. So really, really, really like, it's almost like a sigh of relief coming in and your overall energy. It's very sweet. Hold on. Okay. For some of you as well, I'm not going to say it's for everybody, in the, but I just want to throw this out there because it keeps popping up into my mind. There is something that you have... There's a deal that you've made with your creator or your, there's some kind of like spiritual deal you've made. And there is, there could be an importance of holding up your end of the deal. Okay. Oh. So, someone is going through a lot of drama that they started themselves. This could be tugging at your empathy strings, but I would be very, very, very careful. Because this person is going through their own karma. That may be the awakening that this person is having, that they, they created this issue. And Scorpio, you are always the one to witness it, it coming to fruition. Like, you could have warned these people or this person, hey, this situation ain't going to have a very happy ending because you're harming someone in the middle of what you're doing. But they harmed you anyway, and now they need compassion from you. Shadow self. So someone someone is seeing their... I'm not going to give them too much credit, but someone could be in a position where they're forced to see the, the dark parts of themselves. It's some kind of toxic, dark-ass, feminine. Acting like you're okay, hiding behind a smile, a need for help. Surprise! Bad karma. But you knew. Neutral forces, the gray area between good and evil, don't be fooled by appearances. Like, fighting for a dead relationship and a dead fucking problem. Like, an opportunity for growth. So, yeah, you're moving on. This person. They, yeah, they're going to have to learn from this as well. Bad karma, risk and reward, and then timeless wisdom. They have, they You may be a scholar in the spiritual contracts world. This person, not so much. And they don't learn. Like, they do not learn. Somebody could also be going through marital issues and taking it out on other people, like, or... Step away. A need for an electronic break. Uh, stepping into nature. Being distracted. 
So some of you could definitely be taking a break. Better times ahead, seeing a way out and a light at the end of the tunnel. That's good. Falling backwards, setbacks, going backwards, needing to move on. So you see, you see that like um, somebody may be fighting to keep you held back in a situation that is dead, Lady of the Dead, and they could be seeking revenge on you or wanting to not do that. Seeking revenge at any cost. Destruction and mistreatment. That's, the, that's, some, that's one of the energies you got around you. Duality. Balance. Balancing light and shadow self. Karmic patterns. <laughs> so you'll be seeing this. I, I, I would put money on it through October. And November. Then you also got a karmic feminine that is attached or or like has something to do with you. This person could like look like you, dress like you, like this person has anger toward you for whatever their partner is doing. Their partner. Somebody has also out someone out of revenge. I did not expect all this shit to come out. Out of revenge toward you, someone has put someone in your position. Look alike, dress alike, be alike. Greed, getting ahead through manipulation, um, right? And, and, and it's to piss you off. And this person has put time, money, energy years a lot of effort into seeking revenge on you they want you to see this other person this version because they're they're upset at you when they're alone they're pissed at you but this person like Maybe when you walked away, this person went over the edge, just like just like the black swan did. Needing morality, bad habits, lack of self-awareness. This person also probably knows that that's how you see them. Anyway, this the this karmic these karmic people. Um, yeah, I would be careful because for some reason they want revenge on you simply because you want nothing to do with them. With all this compassion and, you know, hope and shit, honestly, it feels like you feel bad for them. Okay. So you got a lot of stuff coming to coming to a head. Like it does at this time of year. For my feminines, looks like you, you've had a, a masculine, no, either one, masculine or feminine. You've got someone that has taken a lot of time seeking revenge on you. This may be coming to a karmic end this year.
Because if this wasn't done out of spite and revenge, why do they need to make sure that you see it? Why do they involve you in it so much? Shadow boxing. This person's also been deceived. So we got two energies here deceiving each other and deceiving themselves. And I, like I've always said, us as humans, we don't want to admit. We don't even want to acknowledge, let alone admit, that we have been deceived. We don't want to believe that we can be deceived. But that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what they've done. Okay, have something to do with Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. Okay. Yeah, the Empress and the Two of Cups. So this could have something to do with uh, whoever they have collaborated with. And the hanged man in reverse. You could be coming together with someone now as well, Libra. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Pisces. What? Why do you have so many energies around you that want revenge on you just because you're getting wishes granted? If this person... Oh, man. If, if you didn't mean anything to these people, they would... At, the, at bare minimum, they would let you have your wishes be granted and ne you would never hear from these people again. But to seek revenge on you simply because your wishes are granted, like, that's, that's fucking weird. Yeah. Death, the Three of Swords, and the Devil. Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So somebody could also be trying to tempt you. I don't think you're not, like, falling for any of this shit. Again, it feels like you've already been through too much. Yeah, the world. Like, you've been, a, you've been around these cycles too many fucking times. That shit is over. Pinnacles. Something here about Virgo Aries energy. Yeah. So someone working behind the scenes, keeping to themselves, like working behind the scenes to have a new start, right? Or to have some kind of new beginning, whatever working behind closed doors to have some new start. They've made their mind up, they're getting their wish come true, and that's to come together with someone. But they want you to see it. 
Meanwhile, the someone that they have come together with has a lot of toxicity, a lot of toxic attachments, and the toxicity has only grown from being attached to this magician person, this manipulative person. The toxicity has grown. Um, it's possibly now become a family toxicity, and this person is doing their own thing behind closed doors as well, and getting themselves in a, in a singular good position to have multiple options and come to an ending. So that's what I'm saying. Like somebody, somebody is pissed at you that they were deceived in a situation that has nothing to do with you, but that's what they get for acting out of spite when it comes to you. This is what happens when people collaborate together against one person. This is exactly what happens every single fucking time. It's not up to you, but since you're a Scorpio and you roll judgment, you kind of just speed up the process. Wheel of Fortune. Some of you don't want you to know that they're going through this either. They want you to know that they that they that they can work with other people and they can replace you in multiple areas of your life. They want you to know that you're replaceable and they they got they this new hire they found a new hire. They don't need you. They found a new person. They don't need you. Matter of fact, they work together just perfectly. But little do they know this person ain't <laughs> Lord. And in some aspects, they, they may work just fine together, but but this it's not this person, it's not this third party's job to live out of spite for you, a complete stranger. They don't even fucking, you know? And this person kind of, in a way, deserves to be angry because you put me here to get back at, you know? It's got something to do with your job. Ace of Pentacles. Something to do with your job, possibly money as well. Okay, so this is getting pretty fucking intense. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, the Tower. Some of you may be making a, a quick decision, and it could be an emotional decision in a workplace. It's kind of some kind of leap. Be careful about the decision you're making or the choice to not decide. Priestess. There's something here about like Somebody seeking some kind of revenge. I mean, they'll get karma for that as well, but it keeps showing up. Death and judgment, damn. Justice. Every card out here is major. Strength. The Emperor. The Nine of Swords.
Yeah, this this revenge shit, these people seeking revenge, they're always going to get sh bad luck, bad karma, bad fortune for, for doing stuff like that, especially while your back is turned. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. The Tower and the Devil. These are all majors. Every single one of them except for the Four of Pentacles. The Lovers. The star and the magician, like... Well, cheers to an ending of a toxic situation. Somebody else in your energy may be uh, taking a leap as well towards something new. But they still want you to go through bad times. They still have hatred for you. I'm telling you, man. Damn. So there's a lot of people here, a lot of people, it's not just you. Coming to a realization, no wonder this is all major and extremely spiritual, it feels like. You and multiple energies around you, when everyone's alone with their thoughts, they're, they're grieving, choosing wrong. They're grieving the, the wrong decisions that they've made. Which is probably why you feel bad and have so much compassion for these people, even though every one of them have, have ganged up against you. You may be, you know, coming into recognition of your own toxic ways with the tower and the devil.
if you have moved in a way that has just like left people alone with the decisions that they've made, you've left people alone, you've put up walls, boundaries, and just let people be, and they continue to seek revenge toward you, they, consent, they continued to hate you, cause problems for you, so on and so forth. Like, yeah, I see hefty, hefty payments. The Hermit. of cups, ace of pentacles, the hanged man. Somebody may like keep it to themselves that they're worried that you're gonna move on or that you're gonna walk away then there could be energy around you that may like try to get you to walk away or try to get, try to interfere in some kind of way. There's cattiness and deception. Could have to do with Aries, Leo energy. Maybe you've watched this for a long time. The Hierophant, the Magician, the World. There's also somebody here with a God complex that they truly believe they can manipulate anything and anyone worldwide. I'm telling you, God complex is like the best phrase I can think of when it comes to that. Maybe a water sign that's like maybe trying to give up their position at work or find a new position at work or something like that. All right, judgment and death. King of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune and Justice. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, so fate balancing coming in for anyone who has like 
double time, like, the Three of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords betrayed you working with someone else, caused you heartbreak to work with someone else, betrayed you, knocked you down, kicked you while you were down, and especially for the people who did it with someone else. Ten of Pentacles. Something fair coming in uh, work-wise as well. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Some, some place or some situation is up in flames right now because of the fucking toxicity. Yeah, if somebody does something over and over and over and over and over again. That's why, that's why people don't just seek new shit for no reason. Coming in with the Eight of Cups and the Devil. The Page of Pentacles. And you're like, well, if you're not going to take the Ace of Pentacles, we'll give you the Page of Pentacles. Something, something new, the full. See outcome: the Magician, the Star, and the Lovers. Yeah, you you and somebody else, even if it if it is romantic, that's if that's super spiritual. Something feels childlike as well. Um, but it's like as many people have happiness for you and joy and congratulations for you. There's just as many that have hatred and want to like get revenge on you for it. Fucking crazy, dude. The outcome, the magician. Somebody did not see their own pawn turning on them and choosing themselves. The Eight of Wands. The Ace of Swords. The Lovers and the Star. Nine of 
Wands, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, the Hierophant, the Emperor, Three of Wands. Uh, there's something to do here with like Aries Taurus energy. Like basically getting what they've asked for and they act like They've asked for it over and over and over again. The Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Wands, like a mirror going through exactly what they put out onto other people. And this could be the type of person that has done this to many, many people. That's why Return to Cinder is here. seeing the scene from Flatliners. I don't know if you've ever watched it, but this is the perfect time to watch that. Ah, oh, damn, I wish I would have thought about that. It's a, but yeah, that movie, like, holy shit. When the guy, you know, because they all take turns dying, I know, but when the, that guy goes to his own hell, all the women that he had been through like, that is his hell, and they are all there, and somebody may be experiencing something just like that. You can't, you can't go around doing this to people over and over and over again, and think that it's not going to catch up to you, like... See advice for Scorpio. Expand. You're being asked to expand. You live in a huge world with endless possibilities. Staying safe in the known is no longer working for you. It's time to make your world just a little bit bigger. It's time to imagine the possibilities and go for them. being asked to open your energy field and take down your walls of protection in order to allow goodness in your life. Sometimes without even realizing it, we block ourselves from the flow of life. It's safe to open yourself back up. I don't think I've really ever got that expand card before, but I like that. Like, staying in the world of the known isn't working anymore. Being asked to connect with others in meaningful ways, sometimes it's helpful to get new perspective than to simply be around other people. You're in need of this right now, and deep connections will benefit you in many ways. So, and then your very first message, um, what did it say on the back? Help me to be honest and humble enough to acknowledge my need of moral and spiritual help from others as well as your divine help. So you could, you could be making like really spiritual connections. Bottom of the deck, you have pause before making a quick decision and moving forward. Allow yourself to step back, which that's right here. Look at all the possible outcomes. Make sure you're heading in the right direction before moving forward.
the council to expand. Damn it. Dang, this was a long one. <laughs> we got a lot going on. Okay, so all that glitters, again, with this make sh making sure you're making the right decisions and not moving in, in the wrong way. Yeah, like learning from others' mistakes that, like, all that glitters ain't fucking gold. Here and now, with allow, <clears throat> and then connect. Coming to the edge. So you're on the brink of something. That with pause you have mending. So there's something about not burning bridges here as well. Bef like while you're taking this leap, make sure that you're not burning any bridges. And this could have something to do with someone who has burnt many bridges with you but you don't want to be like them. You don't want the outcomes that they've gotten. You don't want the karma that they have received. Like you don't, that's the difference. Okay, Scorpio, I hope this gave you some clarity, some guidance. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.